Hello and welcome to Sophistix Beginners Tutorial. In this video, I will show you Sophistix Action Manager and how to define load combinations. Let's start with the Action Manager. We have already seen it in AutoCAD. There we found it in the Loads tab and it was called the Load Case Manager. Any change that we do in the Action Manager, like adding an additional wind loading, will be written directly into the database, which means if we open up Sophie Plus AutoCAD, the data is also available here in our load case manager. As you can see, here is the wind loading. This of course also works the other way around. So if I create a new action, for example, snow loading, and I write it into the database by clicking OK, I change to SSD, this will be directly available in our action manager. Cross sections as well as the materials work the exact same way. So I can create a new cross section right here and once I click OK, it is available in Sophie Plus. So I change to Sophie Plus system and here my cross section is available. Now I will also showcase this principle for materials. I will simply create a new material, material number four. And when I switch back to SSD, material number four is already available. I will now delete all these additional materials and cross sections that are created because we will not need them for our project. I also delete all the actions a part of my dead load and my variable load. Now we are ready to create combinations. I double click onto my define combinations task. On the left, you can see a list of combinations based on the design code and the actions in the system. When you click on the combination action or load case on the left side, the right side's dialog will change accordingly. If I want to make changes for my combinations, for example right here, for my variable load, I only want to consider load case number three. I can select it and then apply our changes. It is very important to not forget to apply your changes right here, otherwise they will not be considered. We can of course also create our own combinations, actions or load cases. To do so, simply click on it and this little interface will open up where you can now choose which kind of combination you want to create. If you press F1 right here, the manual will open up in which you can read up on the differences between the combinations. For this example, I want to create a new explicit combination. Now I have to give the combination a number, for example 111, and I have to select what kind of combination it's going to be, as well as an offset for the load case number. You can see here that I selected semi-automatic. This means that all my superposed load cases will start with the number 2500 and will then count up. Don't forget to apply your changes. You can see in the list to the left that the combination is now created. Now I want to add an action. In this case, my dead load. I can directly adjust the combination factors right here for this combination and apply my changes. When I click on the selected load cases, you can see that all load cases of this category are selected. I also want to add my variable load to this combination. For that, I choose a new action, select my variable load and apply my changes. Number 111 now includes dead load and variable load. We leave the dialog by clicking OK and our changes are applied to the system. Thank you for your attention and thanks for watching.